Hello, JNM here with a new Blender and Unity tutorial in that we will create an animation with Blender and bring it into Unity. So start here in Blender 3 where we created this open close animation in the previous part, but I removed the animation so that we can create it again as a so-called action that can be exported with the model for game engines. So press delete to remove the keyframes and minimize the height of the timeline we still needed for controlling the animation and then I open up a new window and select the dope sheet for creating the action. Here we also have the keyframes from the animation of the previous part that I remove, I press A then delete and then I switch the dope sheet to the action editor. Ok, here you can see we can create actions now when we press the new button and I call it open close because we can use it as an open action for the clap of the model but we can also use it for closing the clap when we play it reversed. You see the armature is at the moment in pose mode. This is the mode we need for transforming bones. By the way, you can set the mode here in the upper left hand corner, object, edit and pose mode. I go back to the pose mode and the next thing I do is to enable auto keyframe insertion so that every time that I change the transform of a bone like rotate or move, a keyframe is inserted into the timeline. Ok, so let's start with the bone of the knob. I press G followed by the enter key and then a keyframe is inserted at the current frame for the knob bone. Then I go to the end frame of the animation, which is in my case frame 25 and move the bone with the transform tool a bit downwards like that. And we have the first simple animation for the knob moving up and down and the next one is for the bone of the clap that we are going to rotate. So select the clap bone, be sure that the current frame is the first one, press R followed by enter and a keyframe is inserted for the rotation. And again I go to the end frame, then use again the transform tool and rotate the bone so that the clap is opening. And that's it, the open close action is created. Alright, now let's go ahead and export the model with the animation. For this I go to object mode, select the armature and the mesh with the shift key pressed, then I go to file export fbx. You see I already exported it, the file will be box 3 fbx, like the blend file and then we choose selected objects only, armature, mesh and we apply the transform. And then we press export fbx and it's gone. <laughs> no. We open Unity. This is the sample project with the universal render pipeline, Unity 2021. And I'll open my project folder and the first thing I do is to drag the albedo texture into the assets folder of my project. Ok, after that I drag the fbx file that we exported into the same folder and then you see the model is imported, the material and the texture is automatically assigned to the material. And now I can drag the model into the scene. Very simple. Here it is, it's textured. Quite huge, but ok, looks nice. Alright, now when we go to the animation tab of the FBX importer, we can already preview the animation. Ok, but what I want to do now is to play the animation when the game starts. For this we need a component that we add to the game object and this is called an animator. Great, but an animator needs an animator controller to control the animations as the name implies. So right click in this assets folder and choose create animator controller. I name it AC box animator controller box and then I double click it to open the editor. Alright, now we can drag the open close animation right into the editor, which is defined then as the default animation. This means it is played automatically when the game and the scene starts. The only thing that is left now is to assign the animation controller to the controller slot of the animator. I press this button and select it. And then we can start the game 
and we can see that the animation is played. And that's it again, in the next part I will show you how to control the animation during the game, for example when pressing buttons or keys. If you liked the video guys then let me know, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, support me by being my Patreon or join here as a channel member on YouTube, add your questions to the comments and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.